A violent storm system is pushing east after leaving a path of destruction across parts of Texas to Alabama. Take a look at this video from Alabama. It shows a massive tornado touching down and causing power flashes as it moves. Thousands were without power across the region. Officials say at least two people were hurt. And in Mississippi, a tornado ripped through this chicken farm. You can see from this video, the storm leveled nearly every building on the property. All across the South, schools and COVID-19 vaccination sites are closed because of the weather threat. But the storm isn't over and millions of people remain in its path. CBS News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Baradelli joins us now. He's been tracking this storm system all week. Jeff, where is it heading next? And are we looking at the same level of intensity as Wednesday? All right, so Tanya, it's heading east right now, moving into the Carolinas. The intensity is not as bad as it was on Wednesday, but there's still a significant risk for severe weather and maybe a couple of strong tornadoes. We well, see the orange threat right there. That's a three out of five, so it's an enhanced risk for severe weather. Yesterday, it was a five out of five, just to give you an idea of how uh, the situation has changed. It's certainly not as bad as it was. This is a look at the tornadoes yesterday, 25 or so tornadoes. Luckily, we didn't see those tornadoes touch down in any very big populated communities. Now there's a threat that's emerging into eastern Georgia, northern Florida, and also into the Carolinas as we speak. There's the threat area, and here is the future radar. Moving to the east through Savannah, Columbia, Charleston, Wilmington, and into Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. Watch out this afternoon for severe weather, the possibility of some isolated tornadoes. Jeff Baradelli, thank you so much.